you doing? BK for ManforWars.com and ManforWars Media here on Monday, April 13th. Happy Easter Monday at 2.34 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, I'm uh, near Bloor and, what is this, Bloor and Dufferin? Hey, Bloor and Dufferin. Uh, Walmart near Bloor and Dufferin. And uh, ManforWars.com promoting polite patriotism to help nice ladies and gents worldwide offline teach kids to look, talk, and feel great. And, uh, and to help uh, nice ladies and gents worldwide offline take great online info they find and locally discuss and share it with their neighbors so they can organize, make better people, better places to live, get better politicians and better results, put better ones in, or maybe demand more from your government than you typically get. And uh, here during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, uh, I'm at this Walmart, uh, just uh, south of, uh, of Bloor and, and Dufferin uh, on, the, uh, on the west side. And I'm gonna show you the big box communism uh, lines that are, that are happening as a result of these sort of uh, communist Chinese style policies, not just products, but policies, now getting exported worldwide by big government status. Uh, the globalist, evil, uh, super rich people, central bankster mafia, they kind of set up China since the 70s to kind of do this, take over for the West. The U.S. is the main role model of freedom, prosperity, replace it with the communist capitalist hybrid of China. And uh, after testing this stuff on a billion people there who we have to free, we got to free the Chinese people, keep Hong Kong free, uh, keep Taiwan free, and free the rest of the world from these ideas. Uh, but what their plan is to test it on a billion people, see it work, and then uh, roll it out to the other six, so seven and a half billion people under sort of this type of communism. And um, this has sucked for the last 20, 25 times. It's been tried in communist Russia, communist China, communist Cuba, communist Venezuela, communist Bolivia, communist Cambodia, communist North Vietnam, blah, 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 blah. Um, and so we can stop it, but the reason it keeps getting promoted is uh, the international banksters, uh, sort of psychopaths at the top, they get a bunch of willful or useful idiots uh, who demand that, right? They're miserable. They hate everything. They want to destroy religion, God, family, men, women, children, culture, everything that ever made anybody happy. Um, and then uh, once every country in the world is communist, then they think the world will be equal and nobody will be jealous of anybody who's nice, happy, smart, busy, looks, walks, talks, or feels good. Um, and then we'll all be equal, but we'll all be equal under the central bankster mafia control, just like people are equal in communist countries under a handful of uh, rich, evil people there who live in big houses and have nice cottages, while everyone else is poor and equal and waits in bread lines. No more men and women anymore, just comrades and so on. So similar things happening here in Canada. It is, uh, it is certainly an act of treason in Canada to not let Canadians be polite. It's like if you were in Italy and every time someone spoke Italian or tried to enjoy Italian food, you bothered them so they couldn't, they couldn't speak Italian anymore. They couldn't speak, uh, you know, they couldn't enjoy Italian food anymore. Or in Japan, you try and make sure they couldn't speak Japanese and every time, don't mori gato, don't, don't do that. And so in Canada, same thing, where people are, are polite and nice and want to get along and look at, talk to each other, or mind their business. And then you've got the armies of commie zombies that run around trying to bother them and try to destroy uh, polite Canadians. So there are none left. So this is a major national security issue and a major national insecurity issue. And uh, we need uh, National Security Strategy 2020, manforwars.com, for example, uh, to kind of beat this. Otherwise, the commie zombies who, you know, want you to make sure you're equally miserable and everything sucks and they have to destroy everything and mess everybody up until they destroy everything and then they put in the global communist revolution, then, you know, we'll all be fine, right? Otherwise, nice, smart, happy people who don't have to be a mess can help you not be a mess unless the commie zombies overrun them like they did killing millions in uh, Russia and China and elsewhere, all the nice, smart, happy people who could get along and, and do things and, and, and produce things and give people jobs and, and give people opportunities, they were all attacked by the armies of commie zombies. We're like, no, you don't understand how messed up and miserable you have to be. You don't understand about the revolution, blah, blah. And so similar things kind of happening quietly here, right? And uh, with poor sketchy person, what messed up, as long as it's not your wife or something in public and you're just impotent while they're a mess and everyone's uncomfortable, that's something to be embarrassed about, right? That's something to be mad, uh, mad about, upset about. But otherwise, a stranger doing that near, near people, you know, um, obviously politely ignore it. Don't bother them back. Don't bother anybody else. Since I was a kid, poor sketchy person shaking near strangers in the subway. Everyone just looked at their newspaper or looked away. I've got the newspaper here, plus the deluxe package with the laminated manforwars.com sign. Turn it inside out, indoors, um, to make sure that uh, not advertising there. And, um, and that's the zombie apocalypse prevention strategy, right? Just look down, leave the newspaper, look away. They finish running around shaking and run away. You don't get involved with the poor, sketchy person shaking near strangers because you'll quickly realize why no one wants to pay attention to them anymore. People they know don't, and then they go do it near strangers who are like, yeah, don't want to pay attention either. Like bird poop. Yucky stuff in the ground bothers people. That's about all it does. You don't like it. It knows you won't like it. And then on to the next one, right? Um, so if you do get involved, uh, even homeless people will tell you, don't get involved, bro. That poor sketchy person that makes the rest of us uncomfortable, we don't want to pay attention anymore, they wander around shaking near strangers, don't get involved. If you're guilty and embarrassed and lie and argue and keep trying to bother you, you'll quickly learn why no one wants to pay attention to them anymore, right? Uh, meanwhile, the other homeless people, they all get along, they play with the dog, they have some beer, they panhandle, they, they have a good time, right? The, the other polite Canadian ones or wherever. So 
Um, so that's what's going on, and uh, I'm going to show you this lineup outside of the Walmart, and, uh, and we'll see. Otherwise, it is an act of treason uh, to, to kill uh, 37 million people, destroy a country, not let Canadians be polite anymore, like it's an act of treason to not let Italians speak Italian or enjoy spaghetti anymore, or not let Mexicans speak Spanish, enjoy tacos, not let Japanese speak Japanese, enjoy sushi. You can bother them all the time. No, can't do that anymore. And with Canadians, no, can't be nice. Can't, can't be nice to people. Can't look at, can't talk to people. Can't be, can't, no, that sketchy bother you, right? So, um, you know, I have to, I have to deal with that. Um, and again, national security issue, national insecurity issue, manforce.com for more if you'd like. Plus, uh, plus come up with other solutions, better versions, Patriot best practices for the people of Canada and people around the world. But right now I'll show you um, this Walmart here. South of Bloor and Dufferin, and I'll show you the big box communism where you can't complain about customer service anymore. There's only one place to shop. You can't uh, be a nice, happy, a helpful person because zombies will attack you and make sure you know how miserable and messed up you're supposed to be and everyone's supposed to be. It's like the commie zombies in Russia and China and attacked everyone, all the nice, smart people saying, it's a bad idea. No, no, it's bad bother you. Messed up, you don't understand. So, um, so this is the Walmart here. This is the front of the line. And we'll take a look at the big box communism here in Communist Canada. You can beat this. It sucked the last 25 times it was tried. The sort of communism and, and so you know hopefully can beat that but you can see how long the lineup is so from manforwars.com manforwars media and you'll see and as long as no one thinks it's your wife not your ugly ass wife acting bitchy and sketchy in public embarrassing you just impotent can't say or do anything and uh and, and everyone around is uncomfortable then nothing to be upset or embarrassed about it just does that near people you don't like it you don't want to pay attention to it anymore then it does near strangers who don't like it you don't get involved you'll see why you don't want to pay attention to it anymore they just keep bothering you so you know that's life so this is the lineup, and uh, excuse me, oh, people nice. Oh, they know you're not messed up by bird poo on the ground, and a mess yourself. You respect each other, get along. Other things in your mind, other things to do. Excuse me. So this is the uh, Communist Canada Big Box line. Oh no, nothing. It's like bird poo. It forces people to put up with it. Just yucky stuff on the ground. Are oh, you paid? You, you get involved. You see why no one wants to pay attention. It'll just keep bothering you. So that's just what it does. Oh, my people are nice. Oh, they know you're not a mess. They don't, don't worry about you. Don't worry about them. It's okay. And then the poor, sketchy person that nobody wants, knows wants to pay attention to anymore. It just runs around trying to bother people, force you to put up with it, and you don't like it, and you avoid it and feel better, and everyone else is nice. So it is what it is. So here we go, continuing with the line, all the way around the side of the building, here at 2.30 in the afternoon, as part of big box communism here in Communist Canada. And again, they sucked the last 25 times. Commie zombies who wouldn't let anybody else be nice or look at or talk to each other and try and stop it, uh, you know, uh, always suck. And, uh, and we should stop it this time. And, uh, and there you have it. So anyway, BK for ManForWars.com. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, get in touch with questions, answers, work together, financial support as you like. Otherwise, hope this helps. And we'll go out with uh, the music playing there. All right. Hope this helps. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers. I fell into a burning ring of fire. <laughs>